it's Arlene from Arlene's Creations, and today I am going to be showing you how to make some real pretty colored Easter eggs. If you have a Cricut machine or the Cameo Silhouette, um, what I did was I just put some designs right from the Cricut machine onto my mat. And where is my tool? Here it is. And as you can see, I pulled away the design and put it onto the egg. It's a little hard to put it onto the egg because the egg is, you know, oval, round. It doesn't sit very, very flat. But you can manipulate it to work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pull out the design. Let me see if I pull this part out. Yeah. So now that's the design that I want to put on the egg. So I will just be pulling that away. Let me just pull these little guys out. You can manipulate it however you want to put on your egg. Okay. So now very carefully, <laughs> this is the hard part. Just sticking it and getting it to stick on your egg. And like I said, because it's oval, see how it doesn't want to sit totally flat? So for this side, kind of just try to get it to kind of overlap it a little. And you just want to press it down really hard so that it sticks. Try to do it the best you can. So now with this little rabbit here, I'm going to do is pull the rabbit up. And I'll be using the solid piece on this one. Okay, now that you have your images on, In this pot here, I took onion skins, which I really do need a lot more, but as you can see the color, I added a little bit of vinegar, some water, and just threw onion, onion skins in here. I have onion skin from one red onion and then from a couple of yellow onions, but I really think it needs more onion skins, but I don't have any right now. Um, last year when I did this project, I actually went to the store and where they keep all their loose onions, I just brought a, a grocery bag and filled it up with all the skins and said, oh, can I have your onion skins? They were like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and then I had a ton to work with. But you can save your onion skins as you use them during the week when you're cooking and you're using onions. So I'm going to try to do this little chick. I got some of the things stuck to my finger here. Like I said, you just want to make sure everything is pressed down. 
and I'm just going to stick him in the water here and basically just cover the egg. Now I'm going to leave this in here for a while until the egg gets the color of the onion skins. Now in this cup here, I have some beet juice just from a can of beets. You can use fresh beets and slice them up and boil them to make your water, but I just did it this way. I the last time I did it, <clears throat> I did do it with real beets and the beet you know, making my own red beet juice. So I think that comes out better than if you use the beet juice from the can. So what I did was I have the, the bunny on there and then I just tied some string around. I wanted to see if that did like another little whatever design. So I just let them sit for a while. Maybe about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, a half hour. If you wanted to do a whole bunch at a time, that's fine. But <clears throat> when I take them out and peel off the decal, let's see what they look like. Okay, so I peeled another design off, the one with the little rabbit, and stuck that on. I'm going to stick that in here with the onion skins. Like I said, when I did this last year, I didn't do a video though. I had so many more onion skins and this water was like really super duper, like brown, brown, brown. Now it's just like a beige or whatever. But we'll see how they come out. I stuck another one in here with the beet juice, the one with the flour. So I have to run upstairs real quick and get an order together to, uh, four orders together, actually, four boxes together to mail out. It's about 11.30 in the afternoon. My mailman comes at around 2, so I got to get that done. And then I will check on these and take the stencils off and see what we got. You can also just take... Some string. Oh, here's another rabbit. I think I have another egg in there just to do a string. I'll put this rabbit in this one. And then if you have any twine or string or anything, you could just wrap it around the egg a whole bunch of times. It's a little hard to do. Let me move this out of the way. So I'm just going to continue to start that over. Just keep going around like so. And of course, all these eggs are hard boiled. <laughs> Just put that out there in case I didn't say that in the beginning. These are kitchen scissors. They're not the best to cut wine and stuff with, but did the job.
So I'm just going to tie it. I actually cracked this egg when I just did that. That's all right. Because these eggs are going to be egg salad very shortly. Okay. So now I'm going to put this one in here as well. So I'm just going to let these sit. Probably a little bit longer than I had expected. So probably about a half hour, 40 minutes or so. so I'll probably just let them sit until I get my order done upstairs. And um, yeah, we'll see how they look. So stay tuned for the finished product. Okay, so these have been sitting in the juice for a while. Let's see how they're going to come out. So as you can see, it makes the egg a really pretty brown color. Now let's see if this little technique worked. Oh, so see, I peeled it off. And look, look how cute, Jenna. And we'll let that dry. This one kind of got messed up in the juice, so well. You could still basically tell what it is. Let's see the flower one. Got onions stuck to it. Not too bad. See the bunny? <laughs> I think I'm missing his tail. But you could just get stickers from the Dollar Tree or any kind of stickers you want. You don't have to do it on the Cricut machine if you don't have one, obviously. Now let's look at the beets, which I don't think these came out too good, but... I think you have to use the regular. Yeah. Yeah, see, it didn't. Where's a paper towel? Yeah, the beet ones didn't come out too good. I have to cut this off. Should have brought my scissors down here. off see like I said when I did this last year I actually used real beets because yeah and it came out really red because you can't even see the bunny on this one so the beets did not work the onion skins worked beautifully I have one more egg in here that I have string around let's take the string off see what this did So that made a cute little design on the egg. So yeah, I think they came out cute except for the beets. But I like these with the onion skins. So that's how you can dye eggs naturally. I am going to run out and buy beets tomorrow or the next day. And try my, try my hand at the beet ones again. Because you can see it did... It did, I'm getting the dye all over my fingers. You could see the little outline of the rabbit, but not too much. It just made the egg a very light pink. So I feel with the, um, with the stronger beet juice, like you could see the little flower there, but yeah, no, not a, not a success on those. But... I'm liking these guys, so I'm going to dry them off, and I'm going to set them up in a bowl, and I'll show you how they look. Okay, so here's my eggs displayed up here on my coffee bar, which I have decorated for Easter. 
So even with just those little bit of onion skins, you can see the nice color that it came out. You could even get like just little um, stickers that are circles and put them all over so that the circles will stay white and the rest of the egg is like this nice natural brown color. So I think the bunny looks cute. You see the little butterflies. The rose didn't come out that hot, but oh well. The bunny I actually like. And then this one is the little chick with the flower and the butterflies. So it's just a little idea how you can decorate some eggs. I like the one with the twine. That looks really cute. And then for my Easter bar here, That welcome sign is just from the Dollar Tree. Those purple sprayed flowers are from Michael's, I want to say. They were from my mother's 70th birthday. I don't remember where I got them. Either Michael's or Joanne's. <clears throat> These white plates. I believe I got it Pier 1. This little rabbit I got from Michael's last year. I love him. He's so cute. That wire basket in the back is from is from Hobby Lobby. I made these centerpieces out of um, mason jars with the canvas around it and then the flower. Painted them and distressed it with the white chalk paint. These canvases back here I made for Easter with images that I printed out on um, water-soluble paper that I got from brambleberry.com. This I just picked up at the Dollar Tree the other day. This little bird. This bunny I got from Walmart last year. I have this sign from the Dollar Tree. Somebody loves you. I never got a chance to do on this side. Because see this side was for Christmas. It says Jolly. So I wanted to do all Easter ones on this side. But I never got a chance to yet. Which I probably won't. Um, I have my tea bags up there and a little Easter thing. I believe I got those from the Dollar Tree. And then this is just a real egg carton that I cut the top and the sides off and just put painted it with chalk paint. So it's actually a real egg carton. The stump is just a wooden stump. This egg I painted. These I just put some burlap around it with some uh, twine. And then down here, I have another canvas that I made. Another glass jar that I made. The mason jar with the flower. I have my honey back there. Some sugar in this one. This one, I didn't put anything in it yet. I don't, I don't know even know if I'm going to. But yeah, so just a little coffee bar. Just, you know, decorated for Easter to make it look festive. Over here on the wall, I have my Easter sign that I made last year, just hanging. I wanted to make one up there going <clears throat> horizontal, but like I said, didn't get a chance to. So that's my little Easter bar, coffee bar for Easter, and then my eggs. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Everyone have a great day. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell so you know when another video is coming up. And if you like the way I did these eggs, please give it a thumbs up. Even if you don't like it, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. All right, everybody. I have to get back to work. And everybody have a blessed day. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye now.